Well, as we mentioned a little earlier, Birmingham minority stakeholder and seven-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady was at St Andrews to watch his side beat Leeds this afternoon. And we can hear from him now. Well, I've had a lot of allegiances over the years. So, uh, yeah, you, you bet with your heart, you bet with your mind, and it's exciting to be a part of this. So I think being involved with Tom and you know, seeing the support here, I think uh, there's some great things to come. And what was your first experience here at St. Andrews like compared to, I'm sure, many of the NFL stadiums you're used to? You know, it's, it, it always is about the crowd and the fans and seeing them. And I know we visited a few of the kind of fun fan environments uh, in a pregame. I have never done that, so that was very unique to this trip. But, uh, you know, all of it's new and all of it is, is very exciting, I think. Hopefully the fans are very excited. Um, there's a really good team that's put together to hope to hopefully help the players go out there and maximize their potential as a team. Uh, and talking about helping the players, a few of them mentioned you gave a pre-match talk. Can you just share a little bit of what you might have told them in the dressing room? Not really. Uh, you know, that's between me and them. But, you know, those guys are, are a very t talented group of guys uh, led by a very good coach. So, you know, we've got to continue to make progress. I mean, it's early in the season. There's a lot to – so uh, it's a long race, and we're at the very start. So it's what you do every day that puts you – in the best position to succeed and everybody loves winning but you got to continue to sustain it week in and week out and when you were announced as a minority owner a lot of your focus in the sports science and things like that so if you were to give someone one tip on that what, what do you think you would share well i would say in my opinion and in a lot of years of sports and experience there's not a lot of people who do it the right way and i was very fortunate to learn from uh, very talented people along the way that helped my career and I'd love to continue to help others and see others maximize their potential. So, you know, I always believe you pay it forward. You give back to the people that have supported you. And, um, you know, there's a lot of children out there that I want to be able to educate on how to take care of their bodies so they can perform at their very best and highest and, and really go out there and fulfill their dreams. And just finally, Tom, I just wanted to ask you about Harry Kane because I know you sent him a message when he broke the England goal-scoring record. He's just made his move to Bayern Munich where you were the first quarterback to play in Munich in an NFL yeah. game last year. Do you want to just send him a good luck message and also your thoughts on the move? Yeah, Harry's been a, a friend of mine for a while. We actually were supposed to meet uh, Monday morning and then the plans changed quickly, but uh, I'm very excited for him. And um, he was part of a great club in Tottenham and he's going to another great club and I think he wanted to compete in those Champion League games and he's going to get a chance to do that.